Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of my NEM programming tutorial. Uh, in the last video we created a mosaic on NEM and in the video before that we did uh, a transaction using the NEM SDK of XEMs. So in this video we're going to combine those two and actually do a mosaic transfer meaning how we can send mosaics from one account on NEM to another. And this is very important because we're using these mosaics in order to bring a decentralized functionality uh, to our applications. So in order to build your custom application with NEM, you need to understand how to transfer mosaics and how that works. So we're going to reuse a lot of the code from the transaction test file, which was used in part two of this uh, tutorial. And if you don't have the code in front of you, I will link it to my GitHub in the description where you can find the file. We're going to copy that and go into a new file uh, and save that. Uh, I save that as mosaic test.js. Uh, the name doesn't matter, of course, but we're going to reuse pretty much all of the old code. We're just going to add more stuff. So let's see. In the common file, you will have to add your private key. I actually I, I figured out that you don't have to use uh, your pa password if you don't if you have your private key. Uh, you can use only your private key. Uh, in order to uh, to send transactions. So as long as you have that, you don't have to have your password. We're going to start by adding something called mosaic definitions. And that is basically a dictionary where uh, we will store information about our mosaics because we'll need to have the properties of the mosaic in order to actually uh, send and receive transactions with it. Because the SDA, SDK can, you know, never keep track of the infinite amount of mosaics that can be created on the NEM blockchain. It can keep track of the XEM, of course, uh, the NEM coin, but it can keep track of all of those other properties, meaning, you know, what is the divisibility? How many are there? Uh, can they be sent and so on? So we'll need to get that information from the blockchain and save it in this structure called mosaic definitions. And we'll get an object from the model namespace here, object.get and this is a long type here mosaic mosaic definition metadata pair uh, like so and then we we'll also need to create an attachment object a mosaic attachment this is the actual mosaic part of the transaction that is then going to be attached to our transfer transaction uh, so we will create this uh, equal to nem.model.objects.create uh, mosaic trend let's see mosaic attachment like so and then we have three parameters here first is the namespace uh, second of all is the name of the mosaic which is in my case feed up coin you have other names for both of these i assume and then how many you want to send so then i want to send ten thousand. this can depend a bit on your divisibility and so on but I don't know what 10,000 uh, is in in my coin, I remember, but 10,000 should work. And then we want to push this transaction, sorry, this attachment to the transfer transaction. So we have the transfer transaction up here, which holds the uh, recipient here, how much we want to send in terms of XEMs, and then the message. I'm going to go ahead and send zero XEMs because I don't want to send any of those codes and just want to send the mosaic. And then we can... Uh, edit the message here mosaic transaction program and now we'll add the mosaic so we'll go ahead and type transfer transaction dot mosaics dot push because this is basically an array of mosaics that's going to be transferred within this transfer transaction so here we're going to push the mosaic attachment like so and now the only two things that are left here from our old program is the prepare uh, prepare statement here where we prepare this raw transaction and then when we send it we need to do one more thing before we can do that we need to actually populate this this dictionary here with information about our mosaic and we can get this from the blockchain we can query the blockchain uh, via the sdk and get that so nem com requests uh, dot namespace let's see namespace dot mosaic definitions like so and we'll have our endpoint object here we'll also have our uh, 
ID of our mosaic. Uh, let's see, mosaic attachment dot uh, mosaic ID dot namespace ID. Oh yeah, it's actually the the ID of the namespace, uh, like so. And then we will have our uh, standard uh, notion here. We'll have function result. We'll have function error because this is a promise, like the last time as well. And if we have an error, we'll go ahead and console log that. If we, however, don't have an error, we will uh, go ahead and grab the definition of our mosaic from the result here. Because now we specify that we want all of the definitions. Uh, well, first of all, from the testnet, because we send our endpoint here, right? Which is the testnet. And with the namespace, uh, which is Philip. And the definitions we can extract using a helper function. So we're going to put it in definitions. Uh, and then we're going to use this nem.utils.helpers.search mosaic uh, definition array. So it will search this array that is rest.data and it will search for, let's say we need an array here, I think. Uh, we'll search for Philip coin which was the name of my coin, as you see here. So we'll search for that. And that, of course, has to be a coin that is within this namespace. If you want to search for more uh, of the um, mosaics, you can uh, put them here. Uh, but I'm just going to search for my mosaic, Philip coin. And then we need to extract the full name. Uh, full name, let's see, of the uh, mosaic. And that we can use a... Uh, function here as well in name utils format mosaic id to name and in here we'll need to supply the mosaic id so it is in mosaic attachment dot mosaic id like so and now we can go ahead and use the definition we have up here to put that into our mosaic definitions up here so we will uh let's see here mosaic definitions uh, for our full name, so this is a dictionary, it's going to be equal to an empty object, and then we'll copy this and we'll do the same here, but it's going to be dot mosaic definition, uh, and that's going to be equal to definition, let's see, definitions for our full name, like so. I see now that I made a spelling mistake here. It's going to be mosaic ID, of course. Uh, that's good, otherwise we would have gotten an error. All right, so all we have to do now is to uh, cut these and paste them in here. So when we've successfully gotten our definitions, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the transaction and then send it. But we have a different type this time. We have a type of mosaic transfer transaction. That makes sense, right? And we also need to add our definitions here when we prepare them, so we're gonna add after the transaction here we're going to add our mosaic definitions like so uh, and we need to do one more thing because i've noticed that there is seems to be a bug in the sdk version that i'm using at least with that it doesn't correctly set the fee for this transaction when you want to send the mosaic so i will do this manually and maybe you can try without doing it uh, to see if it works uh, but at least for me, as of recording this video, it does not work. Maybe it has been updated since. But uh, right now, I will set the fee to 1 XEM, which is written like this, 1 million, and save. And now we can uh, go ahead and try this in our, uh, our terminal. Uh, I will, of course, need to fill in my private key. And I'll also see that we have made some spelling mistakes here. Let's correct these, if you have them as well. Uh, mosaic definition array and mosaic ID to name. Uh, let's save that and I'll enter my private key and I'll see you in the terminal. Once we're here, we can go ahead and execute our mosaic test.js node mosaic test.js. Let's go ahead and execute that. There we go, success. Uh, and when that's done, we can, uh, of course, check in the uh, Nano Wallet if you want to see the transaction actually has passed. You can see the details of it there. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time, but you will be able to see it there. 
in both the account that you sent it from and the account that received it. So now I would invite you to uh, explore what you can do with this system because now you know how to create mosaics, uh, you know how to transfer them. So now you can use your old programming skills in whatever language you want and incorporate NEM into that because you can use NEM with any language, any platform, any application. So you can incorporate some sort of decentralized storage in that uh, by storing information with your mosaics. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, leave a comment what you, uh, what you thought with your future suggestions and so on. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated with more content. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.